5 seconds to go start feeling aggrieved and dissatisfied with the impugned judgment and order passed by the high court of judicature at allahabad in writ tax by which the high court has dismissed the said writ petition preferred by the appellant herein seeking direction to the respondents for consideration of the case of the petitioner under the scheme sabka viswas scheme 2019 the original writ petitioner has preferred the present appeal the facts leading to the present appeal in nutshell are that the appellant company registered with the service tax department was a company engaged in providing hospitality services the service tax department conducted investigations as to the evasion of service tax by the appellant and issued show cause notices demanding payment of service tax under various categories such as accommodation in hotels in guest house restaurant services etc proceedings under the insolvency and bankruptcy code act 2021 were initiated against the appellant company the nclt delhi wide order admitted the application filed by the financial creditors of the appellant under section 7 of the ibc thus on and from 11 september 2018 the corporate insolvency resolution process against the appellant commenced and the appellant was subjected to moratorium under section 14 of the ibc on and from 11th september 2018 the committee of creditors constituted as per the provisions of the ibc in its 15th meeting unanimously approved the resolution plan submitted by ncj infrastructure private limited that thereafter the scheme of 2019 came to be introduced on 1st september 2019 under section 125 of the finance act 2019 for availing the benefit of sabka viswas scheme 2019 the appellant acting through its resolution professional submitted an application within the period prescribed under the scheme 2019 the applicant company was issued form number 1 on 27th december 2019 at this stage it is required to be noted that the last date for making the application under the scheme 2019 was 31st december 2019 thus form number 1 was issued within the prescribed time limit and the tax dues were computed by the appellant as per the scheme 2019 that thereafter form number 3 was issued by the designated committee determining the amount due and payable under the scheme by the appellant it appears that payment of 
tax dues were made that the nclt approved the resolution plan of the successful resolution applicant ncj infrastructure private limited it wide order thus on approval of the resolution plan by the nclt the moratorium period came to an end with the closure of the insolvency proceedings on 24th july 2020 subsequent to the acceptance of the resolution plan by the nclt the appellant wrote to the successful resolution applicant and the commissioner cgst and central excise agra intimating them that the resolution process under the ibc had come to an end and that the appellant is ready and willing to make full amount of rupees 12.5 lakhs as ascertained by the designated committee in form number 3 wide communication dated 9th october 2020 to the assistant commissioner the appellant explained that the settlement amount under the scheme 2019 could not be paid by the appellant before 30th june 2020 due to the legal moratorium imposed upon the company and sought permission to pay the due amount the joint commissioner agra wide letter intimated the appellant that the last date for payment under the scheme was 30th june 2020 which could not be extended consequently the request of the appellant was rejected since the appellant could not obtain permission for payment of the dues post the lifting of the moratorium the appellant approached the high court by way of writ tax appeal by the impugned judgment and order the high court has dismissed the said writ petition on the grounds that one the high court shall not issue a direction contrary to the scheme to the relief sought can not be granted as the designated committee under the scheme is not existing feeling aggrieved and dissatisfied with the impugned judgment and order passed by the high court the original writ petitioner appellant has preferred the present appeal the learned counsel appearing on behalf of the appellant has vehemently submitted that in the facts and circumstances of the case the honorable high court has seriously add in dismissing the writ petition and not directing the authority to accept the amount due and payable under the scheme 2019 it is submitted that the honorable high court has add in holding that the 
designated committee does not exist it is submitted that the designated committee under the scheme was formed as per rule 5 of the scheme 2019 the designated committee consists of the central excise and service tax joint commissioners stop